It's probably one of the most common New Year's resolutions we make, exercise. How we're gonna do more of it. How this time we're gonna stick to it. We do it to lose weight, to reduce stress, to feel better about ourselves. But what if exercise alone could make your brain younger? According to research, that's exactly what it can do. In the gymnasium at the VA in Atlanta, the other side. conventional wisdom is being challenged. No hills today, right? Uh, maybe a few. <laughs> that wisdom. How you been? Good. Yeah? How's that it? most accept as inevitable. Everybody ready just about? Is that after a certain age. Ruth, heart rate. <laughs> it's all downhill. Good, okay, keep climbing. But about research is showing us about 10 seconds. We can make that when it comes to our brains, All right, D and Gail. we can reverse that decline. You're up, you ready? Through exercise. All right, sprint. Doctors Joe Nocera and Keith McGregor are part of a team that's been researching exercise's effect on the brain uh, for 10 years. Good, keep it up a little bit longer. So I, I'm really interested in language function and how the brain behaves during language function, particularly how it behaves in older adults. And Dr. McGregor is really interested in motor function and he studies just simple finger tapping movements. Aging people often have less motor control in their hands. They also often have trouble recalling words they want to use, called tip of the tongue phenomena. Both are accepted as typical yet frustrating parts of aging. But what these VA and Emory research scientists discovered in a few older people early on in their research is that their brains functioned like those of young people. And those older people had something in common. They were all incredibly physically fit. Marathon runners, elite athletes. Do you get some inferior frontal activity there? Researchers have known for 40 years that exercise helps motor performance, but Nocera and McGregor wanted to learn how. One big difference between younger and older brains are the areas activated. You feeling good? Yeah. Well, you look marvelous, so we're going to go ahead and get started. Dr. McGregor uses magnets to stimulate nerve cells in the right brain, there. called transcranial magnetic stimulation, or there, TMS. Mm -hmm. The painless procedure so. is FDA approved for treatment resistant depression, but it can uh, also be used to show how one side of the brain controls and sends messages to the opposite side of the body. This actually will sh show how one side of the brain actually tells the other side of the brain to be quiet. So we call this that quieting of one side of the brain earlier, is called inhibition. Dr. McGregor also. demonstrates on himself. Okay, so the area that I'm stimulating right now is called the primary motor cortex. And so when I'm stimulating, you're getting response essentially in my arm and then down to my hand. So. But as the brain ages, in language so and task, inhibition is lost, and both sides of the brain begin to be activated. And this increased activity on both sides is not good. It doesn't improve performance, so it's not compensation. And that's when language and motor skills, things we need to maneuver through life, get more difficult. Back to those super fit older people in their early studies. And we found that individuals who are highly fit actually showed brain activity very similar to younger adults. That's to say they were only activating one side of the brain and they were inhibiting the other. So, Which is the way it's supposed to which be. Which is the way it's supposed to be. So the question was, could they take sedentary older adults and through exercise alone, make their brains function like a younger person's again? Doing good? Yeah, 98 and 96, good, okay. <laughs> I'm liking it. 69-year-old Gail Smith is one of the research participants. It's all good. I get there. As a retired school teacher. Good girl. Come on. Smith knew she needed more than the occasional yoga class and playing with her dogs. You went the wrong way. All right, Cruz. Gail's nice bike neighbor, Deidre Hurley, has a similar story. I was once active at a gym but that was many years ago, and... Um, like how many? Oh, gee, 20 something years ago. <laughs> Three times a week for 12 weeks, participants take a spinning class, 20 to 45 minutes long. It's an interval aerobic workout involving low and high intensity. Ruth, heart rate? 96. Stella? The idea is that they're continuously pushing themselves 
to be a little bit outside of their comfort zone. And once they do that, they actually tend to show growth or improvements like we see in this program. Changes in the brain are measured through blood tests taken before and after class and brain imaging. In just 12 weeks, a stunning change. Our research is showing that the brain after exercise begins to show activity that's more similar to that of a young person. Brains that have been showing activity on both sides were now back to lighting up on one side again. So in a sense, yeah, we are kind of turning back the, the clock. Turning back the clock, how much? It would be fair to say about a five to seven year improvement over the 12 weeks is, is what a person could reasonably expect on average. A brain functioning five to seven years younger after just 12 weeks. Results vary because people vary in biology and in effort. Ed Jones is a lifelong runner who was able to do the study after an injury left him unable to exercise. The results don't surprise him. American College of Sports Medicine has a logo, uh, exercise is medicine. And I think they're completely accurate on that. It's sort of the magic bullet. Magic that requires effort. But in a world where youth reigns supreme and countless dollars are spent by people trying to turn back the clock, we can function as a younger version of ourselves by lacing up our shoes and getting back in the exercise saddle. There are so many things we cannot control in life, but that doesn't stop a lot of us from trying anyway. This is the sort of science that empowers us. The proof is there. Interval aerobic exercise can make your brain act younger. Who wouldn't want that? It does take away your excuse to binge watch Netflix on your couch while eating snacks. Loafing around can feel good, but to change your brain, you need to move your body. <laughs>